back to the broadcast. You know, change is inevitable in life, although not always easy. We all know that. The good news is you can get better at change, and executive coach, speaker, and author Linda Swindling has some great tips to help you get through changes in 2014 and rise above. No longer are you going to be kept down and leveled by changes. <laughs> you're going to be strong, and you're going to tell us how. Well, you know, we all get leveled by change at times, mm -hmm. you know, especially when it's not of our choosing. Right. You know, you lose a job or you didn't want to do something and now you're being forced to or you lost your best boss. Have you ever had that right. happen? Right. Yes. So there's some things that you can do, though, to really think about, you know, if it's a change I want to happen. And instead of calling it change, yuck, call it a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. So if I want to have a Even breakthrough. If it's bad. You know what? Even if it's bad, how am I going to deal with this in a way that will help me break through? Oh, okay. Right. And so one thing I do is I create a vision. I have um, I have a vision board, which is a lot of people do that. You cut out pictures, mm -hmm. you cut out words. You can do it on Pinterest. Anymore, I know. Right? My <laughs> best friend Teresa and I have been like since the New Year. Like we've got to do vision boards. We have to do vision. We haven't oh, done them yet, but we're going to. It makes a difference. And it's funny because I went back to one I'd done six years ago, and I could almost check off some of the things that I didn't even know how, how they were going to happen. They right. happened. Yeah. Another way of doing a vision is to have a word. You know, so a theme for the year or a word. Oh, I like that. Yeah, and you want to do a positive word. So, like, I had something like "Don't be late" and '88 or '98 or whatever. That's not <laughs> that's not nearly as much fun as you know, be on time and '99, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I kind of I went to one word now. So last year I had launch. So I wanted to launch my high schooler off to college. I wanted to um, launch another 25 years of marriage. And mm -hmm. my big one, I launched a book last year, my Stop Complainers book. And, and so every time I, I was doing things, I'd think, okay, is this in my vision? Is I, am I really launching? This year it's present. You know, be present opportunities yeah. and also present. You know, I want to do more presentations. And do you think that there's something to the idea of the power of intention and, and the sure. power of visualization and sure. that you kind of put that energy out there, not to sound too new agey, but you sort of put that idea out there and you get back what you put out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the other thing is surrounding yourself with the right people, though, mm -hmm. right? Because you can put out an intention, and if you've got the blockers, and you know who those people Ooh, are, they the just, emotional vampires. Yeah, that, yeah, you don't want to do that. Mm -mm. So get somebody who's a partner in change. Somebody who's like will help hold you accountable. Who's a peer? Who really loves you? You know. What about the people? And we talked about this for a second. What about the people who don't have the coping skills to really cope with change? Because right. honestly. Some of that is, is stuff that you're taught as a child, you know, how to deal with right. change or situations that may not be real positive. So how do you develop those um, characteristics as an adult? That's a, uh, one is to have a partner, somebody who sees a bigger future for you mm -hmm. than maybe you do. It might be to have a coach, get an executive coach or well, get that's in a, a partner. Group. You know, a, partner. a partner in the journey, right? Uh, yeah, but that one's somebody who can mentor you. That's right. Yeah. Um, and the other thing is, if you have that same problem, you, know, I, you might want a drawer of love me letters. People who've said things that I've done. Um, I used to win awards. My husband said, where are those awards? Why are they in our guest bathtub? <laughs> I mean, how stupid is that, right? And he said, you're going to put this, uh, this awards cabinet up. If you're going to win the darn things, we're going to put them up. Because we have a hard time singing our mm -hmm. own praises, don't well, we? And remembering that we've come this far. Because mm -hmm. change or transformation, that's not easy. Mm -hmm. That can be hard. It can be painful at times. Of course, you're not going to know everything, which is hard when you want to know things. You want to make it safe. But you're looking for, you know, even if you fall down, even if you fail, it's how long are you down and do you get back up? Oh my gosh, that is, my mom used to say, you know, the universe might kick your butt, but the real, real thing is how long does it take you to get back up? Absolutely. And so she would allow me like a 48 hour pity party. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's great. And that's, that's great. kind of, as I grew up, that's what I was allowed. You're 48 right. hours, you're, I'm gonna, I'll, she would wait on me and she'd bring me soup and grilled oh, really? cheese and yes. And then <laughs> after that, she was like, okay. Okay, let's go. We have whining with wine. <laughs> so yeah. my neighbor will come over and we'll sit in a hot tub and just have a glass of wine and whine about everything. And then, uh -huh. yeah, it's done. So you have you give yourself permission. Because if you don't, you're going to hold yourself back doing mm -hmm. that. For, and so part of it is really, okay, well, this is something I'm working on. And, you know, if I have my theme, if I have accountability partner, if I say, okay, I'm going to try to really be present, try not to block everything out and mm -hmm. not look around or whatever your, your, issue, your thing is. Yeah. And you can keep thinking, is this moving me closer? You know, because you don't, you, you're not going to know exactly. Or am I off track? Yeah. Right. And, and it's not knowing the full 
picture at the very, very mm -hmm. end, because you won't. I mean, think about all the life changes. Real quickly, are you still mentoring people one-on-one? -on -one? Do you do a lot of I that I do still? some of that, but you know where I see the biggest? I, I do that one-on-one -on -one a little bit, but where I see the biggest is I'll do some of that, and then I'll bring them all together in, in a group. peer coaching. That helps. Because, yeah, yeah they, they look out for each other. Oh, and I love all this information. Yeah, you always have great ideas, thanks. and they're very uplifting, and I know your book has a lot of those things, too. You can get more great info from Linda by logging on to her website or finding her book, Stop Complainers and Energy Drainers. You know who those people are, don't you? It's carried at most book retailers. And for details on today's segment, you can visit us at thebroadcasttv.com. Click on today's links, and we'll put you in touch. We are up next with Susie Says So. Don't go away because, well, Susie Says So. <laughs> Back in a moment. <laughs>